Have you ever wondered how the Israel-Gaza conflict began? It traces back to the early 20th century, at the end of World War I. The Ottoman Empire, having been on the losing side, was dismembered by the victors. This led to the British gaining control over a region known as Palestine. The British mandate over Palestine was not merely an administrative shift. It also came with the Balfour Declaration in 1917, a document that promised the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. This declaration would sow the seeds of the conflict we see today. With the promise of a homeland, the next few decades saw an increased immigration of Jews into Palestine, many of them fleeing persecution in Europe. This influx was not without its tensions. The Jewish immigrants and the Arab locals, who had been living in Palestine for generations, found themselves at odds. The Jews were eager to establish their promised homeland, while the Arabs were wary of the foreign control and the sudden demographic shift. These tensions were further exacerbated by disagreements over land ownership, cultural differences, political ideologies, and the absence of a unified leadership on both sides. As the decades rolled on, these tensions escalated, often spilling over into violence. The British tried to maintain control, but the situation was rapidly spiralling out of their grip. By the time World War II ended, the British decided to hand over the issue to the newly formed United Nations, setting the stage for the partition of Palestine. The seeds of conflict were sown in this turbulent period. The differing national aspirations, the promise of a homeland, the mass immigration, the escalating tensions, all these factors planted the roots of a conflict that would continue to shape the Middle East for decades. That was the start of a conflict that would shape the Middle East for decades to come. 1947, the United Nations partitioned Palestine, a decision that sparked the first Arab-Israeli war. The year saw the UN General Assembly pass a resolution recommending the adoption and implementation of a plan to partition Palestine into an Arab state, a Jewish state and the city of Jerusalem. As the British mandate over Palestine was coming to an end, the international community was grappling with a two-state solution to address the national aspirations of both Jews and Arabs. Then came 1948, a year that forever changed the face of the Middle East. On May 14th, David Ben-Gurion, the head of the Jewish Agency, declared the establishment of a Jewish state in Eretz Israel, to be known as the State of Israel. This declaration was met with immediate armed resistance from neighboring Arab nations, sparking the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, also known as the War of Independence. The war was marked by fierce battles, shifting front lines and, unfortunately, a great loss of life. The consequence of this war was twofold. On one hand, Israel emerged as a victorious, independent state recognized by nations worldwide. On the other, the war resulted in the displacement of approximately 700,000 Palestinian Arabs, an event known as the Nakba or Catastrophe, a sore point that continues to influence Arab-Israeli relations. The war ended with the signing of armistice agreements in 1949 between Israel and each of the four Arab states involved, Egypt, Jordan, Lebanon and Syria. These agreements ended the official hostilities of the 1948 Arab-Israeli war but they did not bring about peace. Instead, they set the political boundaries known today, with the Gaza Strip under Egypt, the West Bank, and East Jerusalem under Jordanian rule, and the rest under Israeli control. The 1948 war set the stage for a conflict that would continue to escalate. It planted the seeds of discontent, carved out a new geopolitical landscape, and left a legacy of unresolved issues that would fuel subsequent wars and conflicts in the region. Fast forward to 1967, a war that lasted just six days would have lasting implications. The year saw Israel and the neighboring Arab states engaged in what came to be known as the Six Day War. But what led to this brief yet impactful conflict? The causes were many, rooted deeply in the unresolved tensions of the first Arab-Israeli war. The closure of the Straits of Tehran by Egypt, the mobilization of troops along Israel's borders, and the formation of Arab alliances against Israel were among the primary triggers. But the war was more than a mere consequence of these immediate triggers. It was a manifestation of the deep-seated animosity and the struggle for dominance in a region that was a cradle of civilizations. 
The war was swift, but its impact was anything but. In a matter of six days, Israel had seized control of the Gaza Strip and the Sinai Peninsula from Egypt, the West Bank, including East Jerusalem from Jordan and the Golan Heights from Syria. This territorial expansion was significant, but it also meant that Israel was now an occupying force, an aspect that would fuel further conflicts. The aftermath of the war saw the rise of Palestinian nationalism. With their lands occupied, the Palestinians found themselves at the heart of the conflict. This led to the formation of the Palestine Liberation Organization, a group that sought to establish a Palestinian state through armed struggle. Their cause drew support from various corners of the world, further complicating the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The Six-Day War, despite its brief duration, left an indelible mark on the region. It led to a shift in the geopolitical landscape and gave rise to a new set of challenges. The occupation of Gaza and the West Bank by Israel became a major point of contention, a situation that remains unresolved to this day. The war was indeed a turning point, setting the stage for a conflict that continues to shape the Middle East. The Six-Day War marked a turning point in the conflict, with the occupation of Gaza and the West Bank becoming a major point of contention. The late 20th century saw a rise in Palestinian resistance, known as the Intifadas, and a glimmer of hope with the Oslo Accords. This period marked a significant shift in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The first Intifada, a term meaning tremor or shaking off in Arabic, began in late 1987. It was a largely spontaneous uprising against Israeli occupation, characterized by civil disobedience, general strikes and boycotts, as well as stone-throwing protests and confrontations with the Israeli Defense Forces. This uprising was a cry for national identity and a demand for an end to decades of Israeli occupation. It brought the plight of the Palestinians under occupation to the world stage, reshaping international perceptions and paving the way for political change. The second intifada, which erupted in the year 2000, was markedly different. It was more militarized, more brutal, and far more deadly. Suicide bombings and armed attacks became frequent, and the Israeli response was no less severe, with large-scale military operations and a strict crackdown on Palestinian areas. In between these two intifadas, a beacon of hope emerged in the form of the Oslo Accords. Signed in 1993, these agreements marked the first time that the Israeli government officially recognized the Palestine Liberation Organization and vice versa. The Accords planned for a gradual withdrawal of Israeli forces from parts of the West Bank and Gaza and the establishment of a temporary self-governing authority for Palestinians. However, the optimism was short-lived. In 1995, Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin, one of the key architects of the Oslo Accords, was assassinated by a right-wing Israeli extremist opposed to the peace process. This tragic event sent shockwaves through the region and the world, and ultimately led to the collapse of the Oslo Accords. The peace process seemed to be within reach, but it slipped away, plunging the region into further turmoil. The dream of a peaceful resolution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict was once again deferred, leaving a legacy of mistrust and a cycle of violence that continues to this day. In the 21st century, the conflict has taken new forms, with no resolution in sight. The rise of Hamas in the early 2000s drastically shifted the dynamics of the Israel-Gaza conflict. The group's electoral victory in 2006 led to a tightening of the blockade on Gaza by Israel, escalating tensions and engendering a series of wars. The first of these wars erupted in 2008, followed by others in 2012 and 2014. These wars have been marked by rocket attacks, airstrikes, ground incursions and an immense loss of civilian life. The human toll of these conflicts has been staggering, with thousands of innocent lives lost and countless others displaced. The blockade on Gaza has also had a devastating impact on the civilian population, leading to shortages of essential goods and services, from food and water to medical supplies and electricity. The living conditions have become increasingly dire, with the UN warning that Gaza could become uninhabitable by 2020. The international response to the conflict has been a mix of condemnation, calls for restraint and attempts at mediation, but with little success. 
The deep-seated mistrust between Israelis and Palestinians coupled with the complex geopolitical interests at play have made peace an elusive goal. One of the major challenges to peace is the lack of a unified Palestinian leadership. With Hamas controlling Gaza and the Palestinian Authority in charge of parts of the West Bank, it has been difficult to negotiate a comprehensive peace deal. The impact of the conflict extends far beyond the borders of Israel and Gaza. It has fueled extremism, threatened regional stability and strained international relations. Yet, amidst the violence and despair, there are also stories of resilience and hope, of Israelis and Palestinians who continue to strive for peace, justice and coexistence. As we stand today, the conflict continues, with generations of Israelis and Palestinians living in a cycle of violence and retaliation. The future of the Israel-Gaza conflict remains uncertain, but the hope for a peaceful resolution endures.